Hi guys, welcome back. Scaling here, we're off for more of one shot. In the last episode, Nico was hungry, wanted pancakes, I finally let them have it. Hoping to get a bottle of water along with the meal, but we didn't. And then I looked up why, because we we couldn't have water, because I wasted so much time looking for water to put on that seed in order to use the water pill that we had. And it turns out that I missed an item in the Glen, so I wasted all that time in the refuge looking for water for no apparent reason, despite being surrounded by the damn stuff. As well as multiple containers that could have possibly held water, including a watering can that was half full in the garden area. So, excuse me for being salty with that. But the more important thing is, we went into the tower, and I clicked, well, this very symbol right here. That's what Nico was standing on. That's what I clicked on the window. And it said that once you click the... Once the, the, the god, Sean, you know, almighty me, has clicked the symbol, I have to then reopen the window. Which means i got to reboot the game. And this is on the same day as those two recordings. That's 51 minutes right now. So, yeah. Let's reopen the game, I guess. Please don't be bad. Oh. Okay, so this is this this was correct. Okay, 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 this was correct. I feel like we're gonna have a lot of fourth wall breaking in this episode. That's me progressing the cutscene by every tap I do. Ooh, that's not good. Is it? Where's the sun? Is this inside the tower? And again, that means that if I just went straight to the to have pancakes and then to the tower, that would have been, what, 20 minutes? When I took an hour because I was looking for water, again. And that means that between that, that would only be like a 20 minute break into, like, in between turning the game off safely. From waking up from a dream and then, you know, happening to close down the game in a certain way. Which is normally auto, but in that case it wasn't. But that could be a checkpoint that you could use. It's a lot darker than I thought. Wait, where's the sun? Can, can I move? Sean, do you know what happened to the sun? The, the, wait, wait, the, no, no text box selection? Excuse me? Sean? Uh, Nico, why can I not answer? The, the game's not letting me answer. Oh dear. Come on, Sean, say something. Oh boy. At least let me move you, please. Let me guide you. Sean! What's going on? I don't know why I'm not... Can I... Oh, I can I can guide you. I can guide you at least, thank God. Okay, we're in a dark room with water. How bloody fitting, game. Thanks. Another way to rub, your, rub it in the wound that you couldn't do that side quest. That means we couldn't revive Maze. I'm, I, I'm still annoyed by that. I well, know this is serious, but still. If I know about these kind of games on back background, Undertale, if I walk straight forward, I'll find my I'll find, I'll find my goal. Northward, Nico. Wait, do we? I was just about to say, do we have any other items I could use? As soon as I pressed S, right when I started that sentence, there's nothing here. That was all me. Well, the games do can still tell me what to do and how to play the game, I guess. Can't fail to travel right now. Uh, all right, let's go straight down then. No, this way. Uh, oh, 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 oh. Okay, there's a computer. Wait, why is there a computer in the middle of water? That don't sound safe. Okay, it's talking to Nico this time. Hello, Nico. Uh, hello. Congratulations, you are now inside the tower. Are you talking to me now? Correct. But you were always talking to Sean before. Where's... Sean has already left. No! Bollocks! I'm right here. I had to resort to contacting you directly. Wait, so Sean's, Sean is gone just like that? Correct. I don't know like where this is going. For good. Sean. 
Sean has already finished their mission. I thought my mission was to keep Nico safe. And to me, that means getting her home. So I don't think I have completed my mission. And so have you, Nico. Here, you can rest now. Everything that's happened here is like a bad dream. This is a bad computer! Bad computer! You're not Windows. When you wake up, you will be home. Oh! Don't trust it, Nico. I'm still here. I guided you to this machine. I'm still here. But... What's wrong? I thought there'd be more to it, you know? I thought we were supposed to go to the top of the tower. I thought there was supposed to be somewhere where we need to put the sun in. And now... I don't even have the sun anymore. Sean is just gone? This feels wrong. Nico has a brain! Not enough of a brain to pick up a bloody bottle of water, but there we go. Not to be rude or anything, but that is still a very stupid thing. I wonder how this would have gone if I just ignored the water. I meant myself, sorry. But you did good. You saved the world, Nico. Are you not happy? I guess I am. But it's just... The computer just turned off. I want answers, damn it. I'm not letting you sleep in that bed. I refuse. There must be something else I can interact with. There must be something I can interact with. Does this area loop? It does. There's nothing else here, is there? Oh, my God. You want me to turn the game off again? I'm not having this. Maybe Nico will stop herself? I never even got to say goodbye to Sean. Why? What? Uh, did I did I, did I did I do something wrong? Did I waste my one shot? There must be there, there was nothing else I could do in that room. I'm not putting this on. I am not putting this on. Look, you can see my internet is not open. And, you know what, just in case, you know what, just whack that off. There we go. Okay. No, I want answers. I'm going back in. I don't care if it's a bad ending. I need to see what, what it is. Uh. Uh. Oh, it's because I have to have the internet on in order to access it. <laughs> I was like, you know what, I'm going to turn the internet off because, you know... But I have to actually have it on because it's connected to Steam. I'm an idiot. Alright. Uh, let me redo that. I thought I was being smart there. Oh, my desktop just went black. Oh! Oh, God! Go back in! I was pressing buttons. I was not supposed to do so. Okay, so... What, what What's this symbol? What, what's this symbol? Oh, oh, Jesus. This is not over. Regardless of what the entity told you, there's more to the story. Documents my game's one shot. Look for this symbol. Once it is active, please relaunch the game. See you soon. Okay. I can't boot up the game normally. Okay. So, i got to press a button again so the game auto closes. And then my desktop changes again. Okay, so that's what that thing does in my documents. I was wondering, I was wondering. Okay, okay, uh, I'm spooked. I am spooked. I'm spooked. I want to open this in a new window. Okay, uh, okay, let's, uh, programs 86. God, you actually got to know how to get to the game as well if it's different to what the game actually tells you. Like if you're playing on a newer. Operating system or something. 
Okay, so we'll go in a one shot here. Boot this up. I don't know what that means, but alright, I've done that. Okay, let's boot up the game again with this window active. Oh, that was okay. 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 Do I keep the window in do I keep it in this window or should I go back to I'm gonna go back to scene two just for a moment here. Unless things change, but this is a cutscene, so I'm gonna keep this here. Nico. Am I interacting through the dream? I think I just roused her from her dream. H Hello? Sean? It's me. Was that you just now? I, I thought I heard your voice? In my dream? Uh, I guess you're still not there. I am! I've got the thing open! What more do you want? I don't know what this game's doing. It's like fighting with itself. It's blocking me off, but then it's letting me back in. Stop teasing me! Uh. Wait. There's something in my pocket. I don't remember putting it there. Is that because I have this window open? That. That is the window. Because it's a white clover. This is a black clover. That, that must be something. Okay. Equip. Oh! It's glowing. What, what, what does that mean? I can't, I can't get back into the bed. Oh wait, the computer's on. I was looking at the bloody thing glowing in the corner. I wasn't even paying attention to the computer. Why are you back on? You're still here. Nico, why are you still here? Ah, you... Mmm! Why in caps? Why did you come back? Because you left me hanging! <laughs> and then the game itself told me to ca- well, Okay, these- th These windows are obviously a different character to my own desktop background. <laughs> Clearly. And it's also the- the, 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 computer, the computer that Nico's talking to, or examining, way of talking to me directly without Nico knowing. I told you to stay away. Yeah, well, something else told me to do something, and that was my background desktop, my desktop background, so shut up. You knew I tried to cut the story short, is that it? <laughs> Wait, you left me hanging. Cliffhangers, not cool. Alright, I might have cut a lot of that pause out, but that thing appeared at the corner of the one-shot thing, and that's bloody steam-related, and I wanted that to disappear, but I guess it's not going to, so... You wanted more out of me, is that it? Fine. If you don't want to leave, I'll make sure you never do. There's a door. Oh yeah, but now the bloody steam thing goes away once the game does something. I want. I don't want those things displayed. I'll probably blur it out with black box or something in anything. I don't know. But now I'm already pointed it out, so whatever. Uh, do I just go to the door then? Yeah, I guess so. Oh. Oh, what the hell? The, 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 the clover windows changed. Back then, I told you about the entity as little as possible. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Is that the same color as the page? Aha! I see. So if I have this open, can I still move in the game? No, I can't. That is actually kind of annoying. So I need... Oh, God, that is trippy. Look at that. All right, let's go this way. It changes every time. Oh, Jesus. I see what i got to do. Line that up. Line that up. It makes sense. The Clover, adapt the Clover app, along with the Clover item, work together. This is clever. Apologies. How do you make, actually, that's a question, how do you make a window like this transparent to see stuff behind? How do you do that? I want to know how you do that. I've made window-like programs before, very basic ones, at college. How do you make them transparent to see through them? I want to know how you do that. And this was made an RPG maker as well, by the way, so this is really intricate. Apologies for that, I did not want to put the librarian in danger. 
Oh, so this is obviously like the journal talking to me or something in terms of the pages. That makes sense. So I need to go up this way. Oh, it's changed. What? What? Oh, oh, oh I see. I see. I see. It's on an angle. So I need to get that in there. This being has a habit of silencing the people who learn from its true, true, learn of its true nature. So am I going against the big bad of the place then or something? Oh, no. Helpful. Okay. Regrettably, I have seen it happen to dear friends. Oh dear. Alright, so I need to go that way. Oh, this is... This is weird! I stu I'm stu baffled by the transparency of the window. I've never seen any app do that ever. But do not worry, the entity cannot touch you. Well, it can make the game do weird stuff. Wait, which way am I going? Up. Wait, what? Oh, I got back on myself. Nor can it do anything to me. That's weird how I go back on myself. That doesn't make much sense. Nor can it do anything to me. Well, yo, your book, I'm guessing, but my computer's just making it manifest. I already left the world on my own terms. So, I'm guessing that the person talking to me through these pages is the author, because the author is associated with clovers. The computer is obviously something completely different. And we thought they were one and the same. So I need to go south. Oh, Nico needs to go south. There's doors. Well, gee, I never would have guessed that. <laughs> I never meant for the entity to exist. Oh god, that is trippy. Whoa, whoa, we're on a bit of an isometric one here. What the hell? Oh, I see what he's doing. He's being a little bit more. Wait, where's the, where's the, where's the clover? I don't see it. Is it there? Ah, there it is. But now that it is fully sentient, one thing became clear. It's pointing to this door. The entity seeks death. Is the entity the game? And the game is talking to me? But then again, these ent these, these book things are part of the game, so that... So if we're talking in a meta sense, that don't actually make sense. Death to itself, death to the world, a relentless desire that manifested physically. It wants that door, the second one. You have already seen the scars. The glitches! What's the first one? Come on, Nico. We got this. We got this, buddy. Is that right? Yeah, that's right. Right now, the entity is doing everything it can to impede your progress, stalling for even a few minutes. Wait, that is the right one, isn't it? No, I would have chosen the wrong one. I don't know what would happen if I choose the wrong one, so I'm not going to bother doing it. Before you inevitably bring the sun to the tower's summit. So I'm guessing that the reason why no one can go through is because that it just doesn't want any way to go through? Ah, oh, here we go. Oh, well. That was a bit... That would have been a no-brainer. Unless it wanted me to go back on myself, I wouldn't have known, to be fair. Ah, oh, here we go. So I'm supposed to go in that one. That is where you, God, will make the final judgement for the world. So it's stopping me, guiding Nico or the saviour. So it's telling the player to stop the saviour from doing it. But then again, it, all, it told me at the beginning I only had one shot. So why, long, why, why do that? Because if I've only got one shot, I'm going to do everything possible to do it right. Wouldn't I? Of course, the entity will contact you again there. Right, second door. Oh, bugger. Go back in there. There we go. When it does, it will trick you into shattering the sun. Well, I'm not doing that! That door. Second. Ah! Bugger off! Ah! Move the window, please. This will end the world instantly. Ooh. 
Obviously, we don't want that. Well, we've been told that if the earth, if the sun shatters, the world will immediately end. So clearly, I'm not gonna tell Nico to do that. That would that would be dumb. Oh wait, I need to see what it says. Okay, there's nothing said there. You're not saying anything to me now. No, no, it is not that simple. What, do you think I was going to say something? Second door. I am sorry, I do not know what to do in a situation like this. Don't tell me the game is hacking you now. <laughs> Author, please. But I think I have to tell you the truth. Haven't you been doing that to me so far? I mean, you've been telling me about this entity, and I know for hell that it's a load of bollocks. Oh, okay. The sun is the messiah's tie to the world. Okay, so it's that line. Oh wait, I, bl I blinked and missed. Hang on that line, so right underneath the word shot. Ah, so we got these kind of puzzles again. As long as the sun is intact, the messiah remains trapped here. No. Hang on, no, hang on. Let me so let me solve this first. So, what was it again? Hang on, hang on, hang on. Right, so that's that so far. Yeah, I've got the run button on. That's why it's a little bit annoying for me. Let me get the out of rim first. But before I complete the puzzle, I need to, like, talk about that, because that's like, oh god, what have I done? Oh god, I've done it anyway. But yeah, it says as long as the sun is in shattering the sun may terminate this world. So, I don't want to talk about it, because I feel like the game's going to say it anyway. This does not sound good at all, to be fair. So it's that one right there. Right there. Oh, it's the middle one. Okay, I see what I gotta do. Oh. It is also the only way for the Messiah to return home. Oh no! Yeah, that, that, com that confirms my fears. Okay, so the reason why I've been freaking out at just on the previous couple puzzles was because it's basically saying that if the if the sun is shattered the world will die but if the earth, if the sun is shattered Nico can return home it says right here it's also the only way for the messiah to return home but it will destroy the world is the light bulb. God damn it, man. Okay, I'm gonna bugger that one up. Hang on, hang on. Oh boy. Might have to take running off. Did I do that right? God, I'm, I'm terrible at these. <laughs> I'm really terrible at these. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry if this is cringe-worthy, but Jesus, I'm just not good at these at all. Hang on. Okay, I see. Right. So I got all that done. I just got to get that that ring now. Okay.
No, I, I, I know what I'm doing here. That was really complicated. Oh! I did not realise things would end up like this. Please forgive me. So now I can just run over here and grab the sun again. It's the light bulb! Thank goodness it's safe. I guess Sean isn't coming back. I'm still here! I've been guiding you this whole time through pages of a book. And I feel really bad right now. I don't. Ugh, I don't know. I don't know. Ugh, do I just? Do I continue playing in windowed mode? I don't know. I'm, I'm staying in this mode for now. Nico, I'm here. Sean. Yes. Is that really you? I thought you were gone. I never left. Oh, I was feeling a bit scared back there. I thought I was completely alone. But that was silly me to assume, wasn't it? No, that's understandable. I guess we need to figure out where to go now when... And... Hey, hey, hey! The sun! It lit up on its own! Oh, I have to pick it up. Guess you should pick it up, right, Sean? Oh, uh, oh, oh, wait, the gate, the gate, the, the thing closed itself down. Okay. The Clover app sh closed itself down. That's all we have. Oh, boy. Okay, I'm going to, I'm going to go back to this screen for now. This scene, excuse me. Oh, boy. So that means if the sun is destroyed, Nico can't return home. No. If the, if the sun is destroyed, that means the world is dead. That everybody is counting on us to save. But we don't even know if the sun will save the world either. And if I do destroy the sun, if we do destroy the sun, Nico gets to go home. Why are we back at the beginning of the game? We're back at the beginning of the game. In this weird old house. Nothing in the fridge. That would have been funny if there was a bottle of water. It's a sink? Yeah, you don't say. Again with water. TV isn't actually broke. The TV's not broken, actually. In fact, this house was in total disarray at the beginning, and now it's perfectly fine. And those were the doors we needed to go through in order to end the game. What the hell? We're back here again. I like how Nico isn't even saying that, hey, it's the place we began in. Good. Uh, what? Ad finitum. A game that just says ad finitum. I can't even get to the bed in order to sleep in it properly. Yeah, this is this is the house that we began in. But when we began in, when we like started in it, it was literally falling apart, and the TV was smashed, and everything was everywhere. But now it's all fine again. That's weird. So if we go here, this is where we. Oh, you, mm, every time I change it, I might as well just keep it in scene one. So you actually made it here? Yeah, I did. I guess you win, Sean. I'll tell you how to save the world then. When you reach the summit, shatter the light bulb and... No. Wait, what door do I take? Oh, I can't take that one. Okay, so this house has multiple rooms above it. I'm just humouring you. I know you've been getting help from a certain someone. He already told you about the choice, didn't he? Yeah. Every time that that happens, the world, like, goes into, like, a wireframe for Nico. Are you still planning to save the world, Sean? Why are you trying so hard for this? Haven't you figured out what this world is? If you're going to tell me it's a game, then you... I don't know what to say to that. I told you at the beginning, your mission is to help Nico leave. Well, it, uh, actually, it was told to keep Nico safe. Not leave specifically, but at the same time, if I want to keep Nico safe, I would assume getting her home would be the better choice, but... 
Nico's mission is so my mission is to help Nico to keep Nico safe, but Nico's mission is to save the world. So that's not my choice because Nico isn't part of this world. Nico is the only thing worth saving here. And I do see that logic because a lot of people have also said that returning the sun to the tower may not save the world, just prolong it longer. You both have your points. The final choice is up to you. I can't go against my programming. And you've been doing that so far, haven't you? Defying what I was supposed to be doing. Don't give me that message! If you choose to smash the light bulb, then Nico wakes up back home like it was all a dream. But if you let Nico return the sun, the child will have to bear the weight of this sacrifice. Because they won't be able to return home. At least tell Nico the truth. You do care about Nico, don't you? It's her existence on the line, effective. Yeah, <coughs> effectively. Had a bit of an air bubble there. I think it's going to get pretty intimate here, so I better zoom on in. Sure, it's taking a while. I guess this elevator leads to the top of the tower, Sean. Are you excited, Sean? We're finally going to save the world! And I know it's for real this time, because you're here. And then, I'll get to go home for real this time, too. Can't wait to see everyone again. Are you okay, Sean? You seem a little quiet. Oh, God. Okay. Comes down to this. I know how the game ends. But it's a whole different thing when you've got to do it yourself. Uh, basically... I could either leave Nico in the dark so she can have the thought on return the sun and then they go home and everything is fine. It all comes up roses, it all comes up millhouse and whatnot, but that probably isn't the right thing to do because it's their existence on the line. I mean, it says that if we save the world, they'll have to bear the sacrifice and for all we know, that means they just can't... Nico can't see her mother again. And right before entering the tower, while having pancakes, Nico's already cracked. Leaked a bit, but still cracked nonetheless. So it's like, do I do that or not? I better tell the truth. It, it, it's, it's the only thing I can do. I, I'm not going to keep... Uh, she, she needs answers. I'm going to give it to her. Nico. Yeah? I need to tell you something. I'm listening. We can't save both. The world and you. What's that supposed to mean, Sean? To send you home, we must break the light bulb. What? But won't that, won't that end the world? Yeah. I don't want that to happen. So what happens when we save the world? What happens to me? I honestly don't know. You don't? Oh god. Oh, I'm in control again. Dang. Oh, it's this creepy music on the title screen again. Okay. So this is where the sun belongs. But if I put the sun in here, we'll be able to save the world, right? But if I want to go home, I'll have to break it. Oh. Sean. Don't give me this choice. What should I do? 
No! I don't want to see this! What's the right thing to do? Oh, I've seen this image before! I've seen this image before, I just didn't want to go. I've got goosebumps all over. Okay. Oh, boy. Like I said, it's been a while since I've seen Mark Flyers Let's Play, and like I said, I've only seen it once, and... I, this photo just... It's, and it goes staring right into my eyes. There's, there's just no way on... Oh, my God. So we know that, that basically, the, the I believe the way I'm choosing this is to either tap left or right. That's the only way I'm choosing. So it's like, this is the big decision. <sighs> if we return the sun, this this is the most ultimate moral dilemma. Because Nico can't make the choice, because it is one of those things, a moral dilemma. She wants to go home. But she doesn't want to destroy the world. But at the same time, she wants to save the world. But she, <laughs> she doesn't want to be. She doesn't want to be cut off from her mother forever. I mean, no one wants that. No. But this is obviously one of those decisions where it's like, you need to think about it. I mean, Nico's obviously too nice to make the decision. It's too much, obviously. But then it's like giving me the choice, and it's like, I can't make this choice. It's your existence. And then, by asking someone else about your own life, because you're indecisive, because you're in a bit of a moral dilemma and you're indecisive because of that, it's like, do you, you know, do you follow the Good Samaritan mentality? Like, what's that phrase? The needs of the many outweigh the needs of the few. So if I return the sun, we don't even know what happens to Nico if we return the sun. Does Nico just somehow? Poof? Is, is she stuck in this world? I mean, if she's stuck in this world, then that's alright. You've got friends like Dr. Silverpoint, you got Silver, you got the Cafe Girl, you got Lamplighter, and you got like all those robots. But then again, they're technically all strangers that you've only met like once or twice in your, in, 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 since you've been here. And they're not family by any means, they'll look after you, but it's not the same as with your own mother. And the thought of not seeing your mother again? I can understand Nico's hesitation on giving the choice, uh, decision on giving the choice to me. So it's like, hmm. At the same time, it's like, if will you, will Nico actually stay in the world or get returned home anyway? We don't know. It seems like the best option regardless. But if we return, if we want Nico to return home, that means we've got to destroy the sun. And that means, literally, this world, gone, in a poof. And Nico gets to go home and see her mum. But this world is like it never happened. So do we treat this world as like a p epic dream? And just, that ends off quite spookily as a nightmare? And let Nico return home? Oh, but then again, they say that Nico will return home, but is that true? Because we've already been lied to a couple of times already. By both, maybe the author or not, but there's a lot of contradictions going on. Because, like, the entity that was talking to me for the text boxes was actually telling me, like, y you might want to, like, talk to Nico about it. but And, like, actually telling me that like, I have the choice and whatnot. But, at the same time, the author through that Clover app in the documents folder helped us get this far in the first place to make the decision. So it's like, will Nico will return home or will the uh, world just poof before Nico can actually leave and she will poof too? Do, do I choose? Return the sun. I, personally, I would return the sun. Personally, I would return the sun because I wouldn't be able to deal with the guilt on going back home knowing that I literally just destroyed an entire world for my own personal reasons. But at the same time, the decision is mine and I was brought into this world against my will and I would rather go back and treat like this or a dream. But at the same time, I would know at the back of my head, I'll be like, what the, f what, what, what the hell have I done? What the hell have I done? I wouldn't, you effectively have countless lives on your hands. But if you return, that means that you're pretty much sacrificing what you had and was taken away from you without any choice. And again, Nico can't make this choice. I've... 
Well, I've got to do the Solstice event event anyway, so I'm going to have to play through this game again anyway. I do know that much, because like I said, that was a update on the page, but that doesn't change the fact that we still have to make this decision. And it just feels bad, because you have to decide Nico's fate, and you've been guiding... You've been guiding her here because we've been told that, hey, you're in this world because you have to return you have to return the sun. So it's like you think Okay, well I've got to keep Nico safe, but Nico's mission is to save the world, so we'll do that. But now it's like if I save the world, we don't know what happens to Nico. Am I failing in my mission for that? I don't know. But the way I would like to think it is that Nico places the sun, saves the world, may be cut off from her mum, but you never know, technical advances might be able to somehow leave. Remain optimistic and stay in the world. Return the sun. If you think about it very optimistically, or at least logically, return the sun makes the better choice, because if we just return home, we sacrifice an entire world, Nico's got to have that, knowing that we made that choice. But she also knows that we she gave us the choice. But if I say return the sun, that means... Yes, you can't see your mum again, but as long as you don't disappear either, and, you know, you're in the world for a long while and technical advances get to a point where you might be able to somehow return, that could be an idea. So, the way I see it, I'm going to choose Return the Sun. I'm choosing Return the Sun. I've done it. I've tapped. You're right. I can't just leave everyone here to die. Thank you for your help, Sean. I promise I'll be okay. So even Nico agrees, so it just makes sense. I'm gonna get ready for scene one, just in case I need it. Sorry if the mouse was on the screen for a moment there. I don't know how long this last this episode's gonna be. I didn't think I was that close to the end, to be fair. I mean, I knew I was at the tower, but really, just get the, um... Just getting the journal translated was enough to get to the end. I mean, if I didn't waste an extra 40 minutes, once again, at the very end, getting that water, that would have been a thing. But, there we go. We've we've, we've done everything that, that was needed. Oh, my God. I am ready to click scene one on XSplit if I need to for the full desktop. It's a Lulu and Calamus! We have not failed you! If it, this feels a lot better, but at the same time it's still that uncertainty of Nico's fate. It just feels a lot better. I mean, like, you get all these scenes. What have we seen? Nico, like, reuniting with her mother, but we've already seen her mother through, like, cutscenes and stuff through dreams. All these characters that we met throughout that have been helping us and sacrificing themselves in order to keep the world alive and whatnot. Couldn't let them down. We couldn't. Even if they're robots that have not been tamed. It just it's just the better choice in my opinion. So Seriously though, Nico staring into your eyes. <laughs> Oh, and I've never... S I, and by the way, the solstice part is just 100% blind. Don't tell me thanks for playing. <laughs> Don't tell me that right now. Oh, I got an achievement. I got a switch. One shot at achievement unlocked. That achievement is basically playing the game in the exact same way that you would have to, you know, actually beat the original one shot free PS PC version. Mainly because that, and I will say this now, if you clicked X throughout any point in the PC version... No, you know what, no, I'm not even going to spoil it here. I'm just going to say, you sh never, on the PC free version, click X at any point. On the Steam version, it's fine, but you won't get that achievement otherwise. And getting that achievement pretty much means you've played the game intent as intended. So, yeah, that, that that's, that's all that the game has. It's just this music playing and tapping a button closes the game. And if we open it back up. Tap a button again. We can't do anything. That's it. It just hangs on that, on the beginning screen again, but this time with sun pouring through. Which makes you wonder, 
if this house was basically the inside of the tower, and we pick up the light bulb inside of the tower, why does it warp us to the Barrens to get all the way back to the tower again, and then go for a rebuilt version of where we started? And now, this is clearly the rebuilt version, because the sun's pouring through on the tower itself, but we can't do anything else. We're literally locked in. But, we have the solstice event to do, and that gives us another ending. But you cannot even attempt to do that until you've beaten through the game once. So we do need to go through again, and we do need to manipulate save files in order to do it. And that is clever. But, yeah, this music just continuously plays, and you don't even know where Niku is. One tap of anything that controls the game, and it just kicks you out. Even if I press X to access the menu, it will knock me out. So, yeah, it, it just it just knocks me out. So, I'm going to just go back to scene two here. And, um, yeah, that, that that's the end. But like I said, we've got the Solstice event to do as well. So, it's not the end for us, the god, or gods. But, that is the end of Nico's adventure in this timeline. So, with this unsettling but beautiful little jingle, I'll see you guys in the next episode for the Solstice event ending. See you guys then, as we figure out how to even do it, and return Nico back. See you guys then.